Hey everyone, this is Ian with Alpha Cars and Ural of New England. I have a very exciting Ural for your consideration today. This is a 2018 Ural Gear Up in burgundy satin. It is an awesome color in my opinion. It looks even better uh, in the sun. And this bike only has 900 miles on it. So in this video, we're just gonna go over its general condition as well as uh, some of the standout features. If you're new to Alpha Cars, uh, welcome to the channel. We post motoring content daily, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss uh, cool items like this gear up. But now let's take a closer look at the Ural. While we admire this beautiful color, uh, let me talk about how we acquired it here at Alpha Cars. Uh, we bought it from the owner in Florida and we can tell it was very lightly used. Um, of course, it does only have 900 miles on it, but you can really just tell it wasn't used off-road or like abused in any way. It's just such a clean bike. And we can see even the condition of the sidecar tub under there, all the hardware, you know, the bumpers aren't scratched up. Once again, like maybe it's been off-road. All of the uh, rotors and pads are in excellent condition as well as the tires, tires, as you would expect with a machine with only 900 miles on it. You can see even the exhaust, it's not like pitted or oxidized or rusty. Same thing with the engine. It just all presents beautifully, uh, no leaks of any kind. This bike does have some cool accessories on it. We've got the LED driving light guards with the nice uh, kind of Ural uh, logo in them. Uh, those are very nice and they protect those lights um, from any brush or maybe road debris as you're riding. I think they look uh, nice as well. We have a Jivy windscreen. Keep a little wind off of you and add some style as well. I think it makes it look, uh, you know, exceptional, especially with the uh, sidecar short windshield we have on it as well. So that's another one of the accessories. We have a spare tire cover. That keeps that spare tire in great shape, keeps it out of the elements, um, prevents it from aging, you know, from the sun's UV rays and the like. Um, so, and when you go to use it, it'll be clean as well. <laughs> so you won't have a uh, dirty spare tire there. Uh, the bike does have a tonneau cover to cover the sidecar um, in the same material as the apron for the windscreen. Um, we will take a look at that, it's in the trunk. Um, yes, I said trunk as this is a two wheel drive sidecar motorcycle. Um, it has a lot of storage, a lot of practicality. We of course have the folding shovel there on the side uh, and the trunk is lockable. So you can keep your uh, goodies safe in there. And we can see the condition of the nice contoured seat. It's in really nice shape, no, no tears or imperfections there. Same thing with inside the sidecar tub. And we have that nice uh, Ural mat as well. Now let me open up the sidecar for you. Now that I've got it open, it's a bit of a two-handed operation. It's very mechanical and very heavy duty. Um, so that's why I had to cut uh, the camera there for a sec. We can see all the condition is consistent with the rest of the bike, including these gaskets. And then in our uh, trunk, I have the sidecar cover uh, folded up, which it's really in like new condition. Uh, we have some cool tips on those, on how to use them, uh, just how to put them on the Ural and different uh, kind of uh, tips and tricks of, of cool things you can do with it, how you can roll it up. Um, you can even use it as a blanket, as a passenger. All very cool things. And we, of course, we have the factory toolkit and some factory uh, documents with it, including the uh, owner's manual, which is really like a service manual. There's, there's many uh, diagrams and uh, kind of exploded uh, parts of use in there. Really everything you need to service the Ural on your own. It's very cool that they did that. And of course the nice Ural uh, trunk mat there. So I'll lower that back down. We'll take a look at the uh, jerry can. Very cool. The two wheel drive logo. Once again, the paint and everything's in glorious condition. Even the exhaust, uh, we, there's no like, you know, rust marks running down it or anything. It's just in very, very nice shape. We have our final drive unit and we can see the paint and everything presents 
very nicely on the sidecar and on this right side of the Ural. If you're curious of kind of the operation, the rear brake is the, this pedal, uh, hydraulic rear brakes, um, of course, and we can see the little, the little uh, reservoir and master cylinder behind this guard on the sidecar. It actuates both at the same time. Uh, this is for reverse, so what you would do is with the clutch in, uh, kick your heel down right here, and it kicks it into reverse, and then all you would do is push forward to pop out of reverse. And two-wheel drive is this handy little lever here. And then uh, it's a four-speed, so we've got a heel-toe shifter um, for the four forward gears, and of course um, the one reverse gear is on the other side, as I just showed you. And getting on to the cockpit area, uh, the 2018s all have this very nice um, little storage cubby in the in the fuel tank, top of the fuel tank. Um, so it is locked, so you can you know keep your goodies locked in there, and it does have a little gasket to keep it, um, you know, kind of as watertight as possible. And then I'll flick on the dash for you. We'll let it do its thing. And we can see right there, 932 miles. We can see the parking brakes on. Very heavy duty parking brake, aluminum handle. And then as far as controls, uh, it's kind of just like a normal motorcycle. We've got our horn blinkers. Uh, we've got uh, low beams always on. That's our high beam. And flash to pass, you just push it down. And then of course our clutch. We've got our kill and run switch. Of course the throttle, front brake, electric start. And this switch right here is for those LED driving lights, which I just kicked on for you. So all very exciting. And we have really hundreds of accessories available for these, including an uh, LED headlight bulb, upgraded glass headlight housing, or headlight lens, I should say. Uh, many, many different things to really make one of these um, your own. And this one already has some of those cool accessories on it, as I mentioned. So now I'm going to make my way back to the cockpit area and flick the key on so we can start it. This is a cold start, and we'll see just how easily it starts um, with our uh, EFI system, fuel injection system. So I just popped it in neutral. Starts right up, barely had to use the starter. And we can just hear how nicely it runs, how quiet it is. I'll get nice and close for you. So a couple of light revs there as it was cold. Um, but you can see how smooth it is and all of the, uh, you know, the top, the top ends, the valves, everything uh, sounds as it should. Nothing sounds, you know, too clacky or, or out of place, so to speak. Very quiet valve train and quiet running engine. Uh, some other notable features of the Ural, we have these massive uh, four piston front Brembo front calipers with the floating rotor design there. And we even have a Brembo caliper a single piston, but Brembo caliper um, on our sidecar rotor there, which is a floating design as well. And of course, this is a horizontally opposed two-cylinder. And uh, something you may find interesting, the clutch, it's a twin plate uh, dry clutch. It's not like a conventional motorcycle clutch that has, uh, you know, that's bathed in the engine oil, shares it with a transmission. Uh, a Ural actually has separate engine oil uh, transmission fluid or transmission oil uh, and then the clutch is just a twin plate dry clutch as I said um, commonly you'll find that in like high performance car uh, automobile applications because um, with the twin plates uh, you get a ton of clamping force with not any, much of any more effort so we can see just with two fingers the the clutch is very easy to pull on a Ural and it's very easy to use as well and that's what you want on a machine like this you want that clamping force for all the torque that engine has. So if I may have missed anything, uh, feel free to give us a call, 978-263-9000, um, if you have any questions. At the date of this video, uh, this bike is available. So definitely uh, check out the listing. It'll be linked in this video and in the description uh, where you can view pricing, uh, all the kind of nitty gritty on this bike and availability. It'll be very clear on there um, if 
this bike is sold. But this has been Ian reporting from the Box 4 location. Please leave a like on this video and subscribe so then you don't miss the daily motoring content. Thanks for watching and until next time.